I studied in Paris, France at Sorbonne University. Um, I actually went through a uh, specific um, kind of individual course. I didn't actually go with any packaged program. Uh, I just kind of, well, I kind of hopped on a plane and went and applied on my own. I had friends from everywhere uh, in the world. You know, we'd have potlucks sometimes, and they would say, uh, you know, okay, bring it, bring a dish from your country. And I'm thinking, well, I could practically bring anything, and <laughs> it would work. But uh, I usually, I usually went with fried chicken and uh, and biscuits. Biscuits. I mean, they're like the best thing in the world, right? But <laughs> it's kind of like you get to share little pieces of. Uh, little pieces of your life and of your culture that you don't even realize how you know unique they are until you go abroad and you see these things and it's like wow like there are really really special small things in your life that you get to share with people who you know you might only see once and but you come such great friends so quickly because you're in you're in a situation where everyone's trying to meet new people you know everyone just kind of jumps in together and kind of does this and uh, it's literally probably the best situation you could be put in to meet new people and to explore. And if you're an adventurer and you find things like that really um, exciting, then that's, that's something you should do. It was beautiful for about the first two weeks I was there. And I you know, uh, went to my school to uh, register and I sat down at a little cafe and I ordered um, a, a croque monsieur, uh, which is a sandwich with uh, some like Swiss cheese and, and ham on it, um, and just kind of sat there. It was beautiful. The fountain is a little square with people walking by and the school kids going to school. And it was, uh, yeah, that was that was kind of like one of those moments where you sit there and you're like, I'm, I couldn't be happier that I made this decision.